The Bears lost three of their running backs during their Thursday night football matchup against the Washington Commanders, forcing them to put in fullback Kareem Glassingang. And he did a pretty good job, if you ask me. But Khalil Herbert went down with a severe ankle injury. Rashawn Johnson went out with a concussion. And Travis Homer hurt his hamstring leaving Deontay Foreman, who's been a healthy scratch the last couple of weeks as the only potential active back for the Chicago Bears entering their next game, Chicago needed some help. They signed former Chicago Bear Darrington Evans off Miami's practice squad, and I am pumped about this signing. Evans played last year for the Chicago Bears. Great guy, by the way. We've had him on the show, very interactive with fans. I put all his information in the description. Make sure you go follow him, but he is an awesome guy to have in the locker room and on the team. Great ball player, better guy. Hello, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year. Chicago. My name is Nick Brody. Thank you as always for tuning in. Hope you guys like the new camera, by the way. We're going to break down Evans a little bit more for you guys here today on this beautiful Sunday in Chicago. Again, a Bears win on Thursday, so there's nothing to be miserable about on Sunday. Before we get into more, please hit the like button on this video. Put your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And make sure to go to our Twitter page. Our DJ Moore giveaway is still happening, and winner being announced at 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, October 8th. It's the pin tweet, not too hard. So let's go into Darrington Evans. 5'10", 203 pound running back is built like a tank and he is tough to take down. A 4.4140 40 time faster than Justin Fields, faster than DJ Moore. This guy is one fast running back out of the backfield. Before I get on his RAS score, I just want to put that out there, hinting that his grade is going to be pretty impressive. A 37-inch vertical, he can catch passes downfield, maybe a slight overthrow, or from the backfield. And if he's running out in open field and the defender's going low, he can jump over him. Nine and one fourths inch hands in diameter, pretty big hands for a guy who's 5'10", 31 and 5 eighths inch arm length, good arm length, able to extend out and get passes potentially out of the backfield, and bench 225, 20 times in the row at the combine. That's lineman type stats. His playing style is awesome. A tough running back who takes a lot of guys to take him down and also great field vision. Ready for that RAS score? 9.12. This is the highest grade I have ever seen since I have been looking at that type of grade. His explosive grade is great. His speed grade is great. Only thing keeping him potentially from an even higher score is his size. And 5'10 is not small. We have smaller running backs on the roster right now. Again, that great vision upfield, that toughness, that strength in order to hold on to the football. Evans is a great signing. This is his fourth year in the league. He was drafted by the Tennessee Titans in 2020 in the third round where he spent two seasons with them. And then he signed with Chicago last year. After being released from the Chicago Bears, he went to the Colts, the Bills, the Dolphins, and the Bears in the last six months. This guy has been on the move looking for his opportunity and he relanded it in Chicago. I'm very happy for him that he's back. He gets a shot that he deserves and he loved being a Chicago Bear and he's pumped to be back. I think Foreman's going to get running back one. He's going to not be a healthy scratch anymore as like, he's been the last couple of weeks. And then Evans is going to be running back too. Expect lots of big gains from him. A super energetic guy. Great for the locker room. And just in time after a big win. Welcome back to Chicago, Darrington. Thank you for tuning in this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. And as always, folks, bear down.